Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are talking time code, syncing your footage, and really something that's changing um, how we edit, um, and that is the tentacle sync boxes. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a shoot for a friend. It was a workshop sort of educational video scenario where we had a main shot um, locked off of him teaching, but then we also wanted to do all these little cutaways of you know details on his hands, details on what he was talking about, close-ups on his face. So how I would normally have done this is start all three cameras running, come in with a clapperboard or um, just slate it somehow and hope that all three cameras ran in sync um, for the entire time and if we had to cut for any reason we would have to slate it again when we started up but this meant that the the front camera would have been the main camera for most of the time but the two side cameras would have been running the entire time and it would have been really difficult um, to then having to watch all that footage and work out what small little slivers we wanted of the side coverage the way around this is to use timecode. Timecode keeps as many cameras as you want, as well as your audio in perfect sync um, for the duration of the shoot. And when you open the files and sync with timecode, the Premiere or Resolve or whatever application you're using just puts everything where it is. So that meant that you could shoot your front camera, your main camera, and then whenever you felt like there was a little shot, uh, a cutaway worth having and worth putting in the edit, you could just set it up, hit record for a couple of seconds, hit, turn it off again, and in your timeline you would see this as a nice little insert that you could drop into the main shot. The problem is that DSLRs and most digital cinema cameras don't have timecode. They have timecode internally, meaning, um, actually I can see it on my C200 here uh, in, the, in the side of the screen. It's keeping tabs on this particular clip, but there's no way to perfectly sync that with other cameras because the C200, you know, despite being a seven and a half thousand dollar camera, it doesn't have the ability to jam timecode. You can't come along with a timecode box and tell the camera what the starting timecode should be right now. But it's not just a C200 issue. Lots of cameras, including the RED cameras, have real difficulty keeping timecode in sync when the camera's turned off and turned on. Um, and you end up having to use external timecode boxes anyway. So enter tentacle sync. Uh, this is the second generation um, of these devices that have proved incredibly popular. It's a tiny little device. It's basically smaller than a little uh, matchbox. It sits on your camera and connects to the audio port. It outputs a digital audio timecode, so a series of bleeps and blops, that then get stored in the audio track of your video. Then the software, when you open it in Technical Sync's software, it can read that digital timecode audio and put it everything in sync as though it was the native timecode of the video clip. The huge, the huge improvement with these guys is that they are Bluetooth um, enabled so that you don't have to keep connecting things and um, unconnecting things from the camera, which is you know, a real issue when the audio guys come at lunch and want to re-jam the um, cameras and the camera might be turned off or it might be up in the ceiling or it might be somewhere else. Um, you can do all of this as long as you're in Bluetooth range with your phone. You can do all of this without bothering anybody. Um, basically, you your phone detects your um, technical sync boxes. Um, it shows if they're still, they're still rolling, how much battery they have, um, if they're still in sync with one another. And if they're not, you can just hit a button and it will put them all in sync. It has a couple of really interesting little tricks. It also has a microphone on it. So if you do want audio, um, a scratch track, it will put the digital timecode audio into one of a stereo pair and leave you with a scratch track on the other. With my C200, I have four tracks of audio, so I'm still able to use um, the two tracks of the main, uh, tracks one and two um, for two different levels of the person speaking. And then I'm able to use tracks three and four with this guy um, into the side. That meant when I did my workshop in New York City a few weeks ago, I was able to, um, shoot with the C200 and two 5D Mark III's, just have these um, running um, the technical sync boxes on the sides. And then when I got home, rather than having to spend a day or a couple of days syncing up all that footage, it was, you know, less than five minutes. I brought it in, it detected the time code, 
Um, I clicked the button, it synced everything up and then outputted an XML that I could open in Resolve or Premiere. And here is all my footage, all in sync, all ready to start editing. It was a dream come true. I heard from Canon that the real reason that the C200 was left off the list of approved Netflix cameras was its lack of native timecode. So with these little boxes and they start around $450, $500 for the Bluetooth set, of two of these, um, you can bring your C200 into the uh, timecode world um, and have a really great timecode with a great interface um, and really, you know, solve a lot of the problems of multi-camera shooting. They come with these really clever little jerk stoppers um, so that the uh, cable that's connecting the box to your um, audio cable can't get yanked out if the if the um, if the box drops down. Um, it it's also uh, has an internal little uh, Velcro pad on the back that's part of the system that's flush with the box. So you just put a little uh, piece of the Vel included Velcro on the back of your camera and you can um, put it there. I mean, it weighs almost nothing um, and the battery lasts a couple of days. Um, it just repowers through um, USB-C, which is pretty universal. Um, and it's a really, really great system. Tentacle Sync were kind of enough to send me two of these um, to do a giveaway with. Uh, so I would love to hear from you guys, what's your worst case um, scenario audio story that you guys have um, endured on set? Leave it in the comments, keep it to a paragraph and I'll pick the best story that I find there and I will send you a pair of these tentacle sync boxes um, worth 500 bucks. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your questions in the comments. Um, I'll leave links to this stuff on BH and Amazon, also Technical Sync's own page where you can find out more about how this technology works. I'm really happy to run my first giveaway and I hope uh, someone out there needs these. Um, but otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.